I'm gonna give you three drills that you can use in season to fix your glide, and we're gonna start right now. It's classic Pennsylvania weather, the middle of March. We're outside, it's 30 degrees and freezing, and all the chairs are blown over. Anyway, let's get into those three quick fixes to help you improve your glide drastically. When we're talking about the glide, we have to establish what is the technique that we need to be using. And one of those big factors is that most coaches don't break it down as simply as we possibly can. We're too busy doing all these different drills and not actually just educating each position. So let's break that down as quickly as we can. We got a seven foot circle. We need to accelerate out of the back as fast as possible. We get to the front of the circle and we smash it. And then when we reverse as a glider, we wanna be reversing and holding. So what would that look like, okay? Ideally, the right foot, okay? If I'm gliding this way, my right foot should not look like this. My right foot should be straight. Heel straight to the toe board. Don't turn your foot. I wanna drop my hips, okay? And when I drop my hips, I don't want my left foot to cross. I wanna bring my left toe to my heel and I wanna drive straight with that left leg and I wanna drop my hips, okay? That is going to lead to a faster right foot. If I have a faster right foot to the middle, it's gonna accelerate quicker. I'm gonna to get to the front. My left shoulder should be here. I can open my left shoulder, smash to that big reverse. It's pretty simple, okay? So we're here, drop, boom, open, boom. That's it. Drop, drive from a straight heel, get the left to the front, right grounds first, left ground second, open the left arm, smash the finish. That's how you glide. It's simple. It doesn't need to be overly complicated. Some of the big errors that I see in high school throwers is that typically they don't come off of the heel, okay? They don't come off of the heel. So the first drill that we're gonna use to fix your glide immediately is going to be the A drill here, boom, here, throw. That's gonna help your right foot get faster. Now, I want to execute it exactly like this. My right foot is straight. It is not turned. My heel should not be past the toe board. My heel should be directly in line with the middle of the toe board. Please, high school kids do that. The second thing I want to focus on when I'm doing the A drill, left leg is the rudder. The left leg is as straight as possible. Dropping, 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 boom. And now, when I take a throw with an A drill, I want it like this. I want a fast right, boom. Boom, okay? The right goes quickly. I don't want an A-drill that's here, here. Now, the first couple of times that you do that, that might happen and that's okay, but ideally we get to the point where it's push from the heel. Push, 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 quad, 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 hamstring go. Now, the hamstring pulls, hamstring pulls, quad and hip extend, okay? So the main thing on that A-drill, fixing coming off of the toe, because a lot of us will come out of the back off the toe. Okay, we want to see roll to the heel, go. So the first key error, don't come off the toe in the back of the circle, come off of the heel, fix it with that rapid A drill, okay? And one practice you could do is you could do three A drills and then one throw from the A drill. Okay, that's a big factor right there. Now that second key error is that we see the left leg land too deep. Okay, if we watch the best gliders in the world, watch an old Ulf Timmerman video or watch Lucas Warning when he hits his big throws, we don't see a left leg here. Okay, we see the left leg. If you drew a perfect line in the middle of this circle, the left big toe should land just on the outside of that line. Okay, it'll ground almost perfectly. So to do this, what we need to think about is we don't want the left leg to shoot deep. And this also relates back to coming off the toe. If we come off the toe, our hips get really high, our left leg opens. So what we wanna see is we wanna come off the heel with a straight left foot. And I even like to think about, as I come out of the back here, keeping my knee in line with my foot like this, okay? So I wanna see here, boom. So the main goal here is we're gonna do a drill known as a targeted glide. We wanna know where that left leg is going to land. And we wanna actually draw something here, directly in the middle. So the main focus is left foot stays linear. Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> left foot stays linear, I'm here. I wanna hold my left shoulder over my right toe. 
I want my knees almost touching here, and then my foot is under my left knee, okay? I will not cross. Do not cross like this. Do not start like this because that leads to that deep left. So if you see your left leg landing outside a toe board, go back and troubleshoot. Is my right foot lined up straight? Is my left leg shooting straight, okay? But the targeted drill will be, we have a shot in our hand, we're here, boom. And you almost wanna think about your left foot stays that close to the concrete and your right leg's doing most of the work. Here, boom. Here, boom. One more, boom. Okay, so we wanna land and you can see there's a line right here. That's how we wanna land at the front of the circle, that left leg is very, very linear. And then that's gonna take us to our third key error. Most high school gliders will finish like this because they're worried about fouling or they'll finish like this. So how can we fix that, okay? What I like to do with gliders is to ensure them that this is your best friend. Love the toe board, embrace the toe board. It was put there for gliders. It's perfect for you. Think about the right heel, the outside of your right heel. Kisses the toe board every time you hit a throw. So one thing that we can do to practice this, we can do stands, okay? And you can take a standing throw, reverse to that right heel. And I wanna see that reverse happen in the middle of the toe board or slightly to the right. If we can master that, you're gonna get comfortable reversing. And when you get comfortable reversing, you're gonna save all those big throws that you're putting out there in warmups. Now you're gonna save them in a competition and you're gonna have greater levels of confidence. So you're gonna perform a lot better. So we can practice, open the left arm, bring the right knee inside the right sector, heel to the board. So instead of falling back or blasting out the front, we start to get confident. So the next part of this drill, instead of just doing a standing throw into a reverse, I actually wanna see, boom, a little bit of a hop. Boom, okay, boom, open the left. Open the left, now I have a shot in my hand. Boom. And the whole point here is we wanna see heel, right heel, right heel, right heel to the board, right heel to the board. Boom, left leg stays back. Put the left leg down in the middle, okay? That's a real easy cue. Right heel, put the left leg down, okay? So gliders, make sure you're coming out of the back off that right heel, okay, if you're a right-handed thrower. Make sure your left leg is linear, splitting the circle in half. And then finally, make sure you reverse with the right heel on the board. If you guys need help with your training, head over to throwsuniversity.com, pick up the technical analysis or one of our programs to help you guys. Implement all three of these key drills throughout the entire season. Use these as warmups, and when you do, you will hit those monster PRs. Until next time, peace.